Okay, I got yet another project going on here. This is going to be my air conditioning unit. It's a radiator I got off the internet. It's from a Honda Civic, I think. And I closed off. I just looped that around. I got some of that flexible PVC. It's a little too small to fit on there, so I just heated it up with a heat gun and stuck it on. I got some uh, got fitting here. I'm gonna screw a hose fitting on both ends. Uh, I went to get a cap for this radiator. The radiator didn't come with a cap, so uh, I went by O'Reilly's. They could not find a cap that would fit it. So, and they wanted almost nine bucks for a cap. So I bought this rubber cork that fits right down in there. And just stick it in. It's not going to have no pressure on it anyway. It's just going to have cool spring water, you know, probably coming in the bottom and overflowing out the top hook some hoses and lead the way so I don't leave a soupy mess and I bought a 12 volt fan car fan I'm gonna mount it on there and what I did I made a frame for it that I put bought these little brackets I'll screw it right in there I'll make some feet on there and uh, just stand up next to my um, trailer window and hopefully have some cool air so we can sleep because it's going to get hot down there uh, if you haven't been following my channel I'm three hours away down in the southern Missouri we're in central Missouri here um, we bought some property down there we're building a homestead so we're going down there this weekend to work. So when I get this set up, I'll show you a little bit more. Hopefully it'll work. Otherwise, it's going to be some hot sleeping. All right, stay tuned. I can show you one-handed here. I'll just get these fittings on here and get some hoses. One thing with the cork, I don't have to block this little pee hole here because the cork goes past it. It comes up and down to go to overflow there. So pretty much got that fit. Me raise it up. Show you how it fits. And then this side here will go up against the window part. I may have to get some foam and put in there. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Down to our property and we got I'm hooking up my my uh, air conditioner that I made. Uh, we bought this little filter from Walmart. It's like a little RV filter. So it says it makes water safe to drink. So, you know, it filters out all the bacteria and stuff. So we feel safe to drink it from our spring, even though I've drank from it a few times. And I'm not dead yet, so... Anyway, we got the red hose comes from our spring, and it goes through that gate there and way up the hill. It's probably about, oh, it's probably at least 500 feet up there. So we get a lot of 
warming of the water as it comes down but I had this spring this uh, air conditioner that I made it's, you know it cools and it cools pretty good but it would do a lot better if I could when I bury this line and get it in there I'll go around there and show you it working okay here's my you know I showed you building the radiator and then I built the stand for it and I got feet on it and I got hose coming in hose going out this is one coming out on the bottom and I just put this cardboard box to kind of funnel it because originally I had it turned the other way where it was blowing through well telling you you won't get enough airflow that way so I had to turn around where the fans on the inside and uh, I don't know if I could lift that up to show you there we go see the got the fan on the inside and there's the intake the other's the outtake and uh, I got just flowing through because fl spring flows all the time so instead of dumping out on the ground up up there I got it where it dumps out here and uh should be running out there but we'll take you on the inside and show you it working I gotta hook up my hold on let me hook it up and get it spinning okay this is redneck as can be but I got my jumper cables on and run over here I got them clamped on to this you can hook it where it runs either way so I put it where it flows you know sucks through there I feel pretty good pretty good airflow coming through um, you know it's it's loud but it's not real loud I had a kink in my hose a while ago, but there's the water flowing out. There's my good leaky hose right there. All right, we'll take you on the inside. Okay, here we are. Um, it's blowing fairly cool air. You know, it could be colder, but... You know, right now it feels good because it's probably like 83 out and I was going to bring my thermometers and do this but I'd say it's at least you know probably 75 degrees coming out of there this you know it's nice yeah. And I just want to add that my videos aren't professional at all. <laughs> so I just film them the way they are, the way they come out. And, you know, I'm living proof nobody's perfect. So if you like what I'm doing, just don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right. See you later, YouTube.